Madrid, Spanish, Mar I, locally Mar -a, smiley face, I theta listen, is the capital of Spain and the largest municipality in both the community of Madrid and Spain as a whole. The city has almost 3.3 million inhabitants and a metropolitan area population of approximately 6.5 million. It is the third largest city in the European Union EU, smaller than only London and Berlin, and its monocentric metropolitan area is the third largest in the EU, smaller only than those of London and Paris. The municipality covers 604.3 square kilometers, 233.3 square miles. Madrid lies on the River Manzanares in the center of both the country and the community of Madrid, which comprises the city of Madrid, its conurbation and extended suburbs and villages. This community is bordered by the autonomous communities of Castile and Leon and Castile-La Mancha. As the capital city of Spain, seat of government, and residence of the Spanish monarch, Madrid is also the political, economic and cultural center of the country. The current mayor is Manuela Carmina from the party Ahora Madrid. The Madrid urban agglomeration has the third largest GDP in the European Union and its influence in politics, education, entertainment, environment, media, fashion, science, culture, and the arts all contribute to its status as one of the world's major global cities. Madrid is home to two world-famous football clubs, Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. Due to its economic output, high standard of living, and market size, Madrid is considered the leading economic hub of the Iberian Peninsula and of Southern Europe. It hosts the head offices of the vast majority of major Spanish companies, such as Telefonica, IAG or Repsol. Madrid is also the 10th most livable city in the world according to Monocle magazine. In its 2017 index, Madrid houses the headquarters of the World Tourism Organization, UNWTO, belonging to the United Nations Organization, UN, the Ibero-American General Secretariat, SEGIB, the Organization of Ibero-American States, OEI, and the Public Interest Oversight Board, PIOB. It also hosts major international regulators and promoters of the Spanish language, the Standing Committee of the Association of Spanish Language Academies, headquarters of the Royal Spanish Academy the Cervantes Institute and the Foundation of Urgent Spanish Madrid organizes fairs such as FITUR, ARCO, CIMO TCI and the Madrid Fashion Week. While Madrid possesses modern infrastructure, it has preserved the look and feel of many of its historic neighborhoods and streets. Its landmarks include the Royal Palace of Madrid, the Royal Theatre with its restored 1850 Opera House, the Buen Retiro Park, founded in 1631, the 19th century National Library Building founded in 1712 containing some of Spain's historical archives, a large number of national museums, and the Golden Triangle of Art, located along the Paseo del Prado and comprising three art museums, Prado Museum, the Reina Sofia Museum, a museum of modern art, and the thyssen bornemisza Museum, which complements the holdings of the other two museums. Sibylle's Palace and Fountain have become one of the monument symbols of the city. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Mjrite Madri Madri T is the first documented reference to the city. It is recorded in Andalusi Arabic during the Al-Andalus period. The name Megaret made it was retained in medieval Spanish. The most ancient recorded name of the city, Megaret, for asterisk materi or asterisk magaturit, comes from the name of a fortress built on the Manzanares River in the 9th century AD, and means place of abundant water. In Arabic, a wider number of theories have been formulated on possible earlier origins. According to legend, Madrid was founded by Ocno Bianor, son of King Tyrrhenius of Tuscany and Mantova, and was named Metragerta or Mantova Carpatana. Others contend that the original name of the city was Ursaria, land of bears. In Latin, because of the many bears that were to be found in the nearby forests, which, together with the strawberry tree Spanish Madrono, have been the emblem of the city since the Middle Ages, nevertheless, it is also speculated that the origin of the current name of the city comes from the 2nd century BC. The Roman Empire established a settlement on the banks of the Manzanares River. The name of this first village was Matrice, a reference to the river that crossed the settlement. 
Following the invasions carried out by the Germanic Suves and Vandals, as well as the Sarmatic Alans during the 5th century AD, the Roman Empire no longer had the military presence required to defend its territories on the Iberian Peninsula, and as a consequence, these territories were soon occupied by the Vandals, who were in turn dispelled by the Visigoths, who then ruled Hispania in the name of the Roman Emperor, also taking control of Matrice. In the 8th century, the Islamic conquest of the Iberian Peninsula saw the name changed to Mayrat, from the Arabic term Myra Mayra referencing water as a tree or giver of life and the Ibero-Roman suffix it that means place. The modern Madrid evolved from the Mozarabic Matrit, which is still in the Madrilenian gentilich. Topic: History Topic. Middle Ages Although the site of modern-day Madrid has been occupied since prehistoric times, and there are archaeological remains of Carpatani settlement, Roman villas, a Visigoth basilica near the church of Santa Maria de la Almudina and three Visigoth necropolis near Casa de Campo, Tetuan and Vicalvaro, the first historical document about the existence of an established settlement in Madrid dates from the Muslim age. At the second half of the 9th century, Emir Muhammad I of Cordoba built a fortress on a headland near the river Manzanares, as one of the many fortresses he ordered to be built on the border between Al-Andalus and the kingdoms of León and Castile, with the objective of protecting Toledo from the Christian invasions and also as a starting point for Muslim offensives. After the disintegration of the Caliphate of Cordoba, Madrid was integrated in the Taifa of Toledo. With the surrender of Toledo to Alfonso VI of León and Castile, the city was conquered by Christians in 1085, and it was integrated into the Kingdom of Castile as a property of the crown. Christians replaced Muslims in the occupation of the center of the city, while Muslims and Jews settled in the suburbs. The city was thriving and was given the title of Villa, whose administrative district extended from the Jarama in the east to the river Guadarrama in the west. The government of the town was vested to the neighboring of Madrid since 1346, when King Alfonso XI of Castile implements the regiment, for which only the local oligarchy was taking sides in city decisions. Since 1188, Madrid won the right to be a city with representation in the courts of Castile. In 1202, King Alfonso VIII of Castile gave Madrid its first charter to regulate the municipal council, which was expanded in 1222 by Ferdinand III of Castile. In 1309, the courts of Castile were joined in Madrid for the first time under Ferdinand IV of Castile, and later in 1329, 1339, 1391, 1393, 1419 and twice in 1435. Since the unification of the kingdoms of Spain under a common crown, the courts were convened in Madrid more often. Topic. Modern age. During the revolt of the Comuneros, led by Juan de Padilla, Madrid joined the revolt against Emperor Charles V of Germany and I of Spain, but after defeat at the Battle of Villalar, Madrid was besieged and occupied by the royal troops. However, Charles I was generous to the town and gave it the titles of Coronada crowned, and Imperial. When Francis I of France was captured at the Battle of Pavia, he was imprisoned in Madrid and in the village is dated the Treaty of Madrid of 1526 later denounced by the French that resolved the situation. Is seen in the foreground the banks of the Manzana, crossed by the predecessors to the Segovia Bridge in the first third, and the Toledo Bridge further south, right, which was built in a monumental form years later. The most prominent building in the north left, is the Alcazar, which was part of the walled circuit and which would undergo several fires until the fatal one in 1734 that almost completely destroyed it and was replaced by the current Palacio Real. The following churches are seen in the village from left to right, San Gil, San Juan, Santiago, San Salvador, Iglesia de San Miguel de los Octos, San Nicolás, Santa Maria, San Justo, San Pedro, Capilla del Obispo, San Andres and, outside the walls, San Francisco, that do not yet have even the profile of domes and chapters by which they would be characterized in the following centuries. Outside the walls and on the river, there is a craft facility dedicated to the treatment of hides, the Pozacho Tanneries. 
The recent installation of the court imposed a regalia de apposento tax on private houses, which produced all kinds of resistance including, most notably, the construction of Casas a la Militia. The number of urban inhabitants grew from 4,060 in the year 1530 to 37,500 in the year 1594. The poor population of the court was composed of ex-soldiers, foreigners, rogues and ruanes, dissatisfied with the lack of food and high prices. In June 1561, when the town had 30,000 inhabitants, Philip II of Spain set his court in Madrid, installing it in the old Alcazar. Thanks to this, the city of Madrid became the political center of the monarchy, being the capital of Spain except for a short period between 1601 and 1606 Philip III of Spain's government, in which the court was relocated to Valladolid. This fact was decisive for the evolution of the city and influenced its fate. During the reign of Philip III and Philip IV of Spain, Madrid saw a period of exceptional cultural brilliance, with the presence of geniuses such as Miguel de Cervantes, Diego Velázquez, Francisco de Quevedo and Lope de Vega. The death of Charles II of Spain resulted in the War of the Spanish Succession. The city supported the claim of Philip of Anjou as Philip V while the city was occupied in 1706 by a Portuguese army, who proclaimed King the Archduke Charles of Austria under the name of Charles III, and again in 1710, remained loyal to Philip V. Philip V built the Royal Palace, the Royal Tapestry Factory and the main Royal Academies. But the most important Bourbon was King Charles III of Spain, who was known as the best mayor of Madrid. Charles III took upon himself the feat of transforming Madrid into a capital worthy of this category. He ordered the construction of sewers, street lighting, cemeteries outside the city, and many monuments Puerta de Alcalor, Sibeli's Fountain, and cultural institutions El Prado Museum, Royal Botanic Gardens, Royal Observatory, etc. Despite being known as one of the greatest benefactors of Madrid, his beginnings were not entirely peaceful, as in 1766 he had to overcome the Esquilache riots, a traditionalist revolt instigated by the nobility and clergy against his reformist intentions, demanding the repeal of the clothing decree ordering the shortening of the layers and the prohibition of the use of hats that hide the face, with the aim of reducing crime in the city. The reign of Charles IV of Spain is not very meaningful to Madrid, except for the presence of Goya in the court, who portrayed the popular and courtly life of the city. Topic. From the 19th century to present day On 27 October 1807, Charles IV and Napoleon I signed the Treaty of Fontainebleau, which allowed the passage of French troops through Spanish territory to join the Spanish troops and invade Portugal, which had refused to obey the order of international blockade against England. As this was happening, there was the Mutiny of Arrangers the 17th of March 1808, by which the Crown Prince, Ferdinand VII, replaced his father as king. However, when Ferdinand VII returned to Madrid, the city was already occupied by Joachim Napoleon Murat, so that both the king and his father were virtually prisoners of the French army. Napoleon, taking advantage of the weakness of the Spanish Bourbons, forced both, first the father then the son, to join him in Bayonne, where Ferdinand arrived on 20 April. In the absence of the two kings, the situation became more and more tense in the capital. On 2 May, a crowd began to gather at the royal palace. The crowd saw the French soldiers pulled out of the palace to the royal family members who were still in the palace. Immediately, the crowd launched an assault on the floats. The fight lasted hours and spread throughout Madrid. Subsequent repression was brutal. In the Paseo del Prado and in the fields of La Moncloa hundreds of patriots were shot due to Murat's order against Spanish all-carrying arms. Paintings such as the 3rd of May 1808 by Goya reflect the repression that ended the popular uprising on the 2nd of May. The Peninsula War against Napoleon, despite the last absolutist claims during the reign of Ferdinand VII, gave birth to a new country with a liberal and bourgeois character, open to influences coming from the rest of Europe. Madrid, the capital of Spain, experienced like no other city the changes caused by this opening and filled with theatres, cafes and newspapers. Madrid was frequently altered by revolutionary outbreaks and pronouncements, such as the 1854 Vicalvarada, led by General Leopoldo O'Donnell and initiating the Progressive Biennium. However, in the early 20th century Madrid looked more like a small town than a modern city. 
During the first third of the 20th century the population nearly doubled, reaching more than 850,000 inhabitants. New suburbs such as Las Ventas, Tetuán and El Carmen became the homes of the influx of workers, while Ensanche became a middle-class neighborhood of Madrid. The Spanish Constitution of 1931 was the first legislated on the state capital, setting it explicitly in Madrid. Madrid was one of the most heavily affected cities of Spain in the Civil War 1936 The city was a stronghold of the Republicans from July 1936. Its western suburbs were the scene of an all-out battle in November 1936 and during the Civil War the city was also bombed by aeroplanes. See Siege of Madrid 1936 during the economic boom in Spain from 1959 to 1973, the city experienced unprecedented, extraordinary development in terms of population and wealth, becoming the largest GDP city in Spain, and ranking third in Western Europe. The municipality was extended, annexing neighboring council districts, to achieve the present extension of 607 square kilometers square miles. The south of Madrid became very industrialized, and there were massive migrations from rural areas of Spain into the city. Madrid's newly built northwestern districts became the home of the new thriving middle class that appeared as a result of the 1960s Spanish economic boom, while the southeastern periphery became an extensive working class settlement, which was the base for an active cultural and political reform. After the death of Franco and the start of the democratic regime, the 1978 constitution confirmed Madrid as the capital of Spain. In 1979, the first municipal elections brought Madrid's first democratically elected mayor since the Second Republic. Madrid was the scene of some of the most important events of the time, such as the mass demonstrations of support for democracy after the failed coup, 23F, on 23 February 1981. The first democratic mayors belonged to the leftist PSOE Enrique Tierno Galvan, Juan Barranco Gallardo, turning the city after more conservative positions Agustín Rodríguez Sahagan, José María Álvarez del Manzano, Alberto Ruiz Gallardo and Ana Botella. Benefiting from increasing prosperity in the 1980s and 1990s, the capital city of Spain has consolidated its position as an important economic, cultural, industrial, educational, and technological center on the European continent. Topic. Geography Madrid lies on the southern Mazeta Central, 60 km south of the Guadarrama mountain range and straddling the Jarama and Manzanares river sub-drainage basins, in the wider Tagus river catchment area. There is a considerable difference in altitude within city limits ranging from 543 meters 1,781 feet in the Manzanares riverbanks in the southeast of the municipality to 846 meters 2,776 feet above sea level in the highest part of the Fuancaral El Pardo district. Over a quarter of the Madrid municipal area is covered by the largely forested protected area of El Pardo. Topic. Climate Madrid has an inland Mediterranean climate, Copan CSA, which transitions to a semi-arid climate, BSK, in the eastern side of the city. Winters are cool due to its altitude, which is approximately 667 meters 2,188 feet above sea level, including sporadic snowfalls and frequent frosts between December and February. Summers are hot, in the warmest month, July, average temperatures during the day range from 32 to 33 degrees Celsius, 90 to 91 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on location, with maxima commonly climbing over 35 degrees Celsius, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, during the frequent heat waves. Due to Madrid's altitude and dry climate, diurnal ranges are often significant during the summer. The highest recorded temperature was on 24 July 1995, at 42.2 degrees Celsius, 108.0 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lowest recorded temperature was on 16 January 1945 at 15.3 degrees Celsius, 4.5 degrees Fahrenheit. These records were registered at the airport, in the eastern side of the city. 
precipitation is concentrated in the autumn and spring, and, together with Athens which has similar annual precipitation, Madrid is the driest capital in Europe. It is particularly sparse during the summer, taking the form of about two showers and or thunderstorms during the season. Topic. Water supply Madrid derives almost 73.5% of its water supply from dams and reservoirs built on the Lozoya River, such as the El Atazar Dam, which was built in 1972 and inaugurated by Francisco Franco. This water supply is managed by Canal de Isabel II, a public entity created in 1851. It is responsible for the supply, depurating waste water and the conservation of all the Comunidad de Madrid region natural water resources. Topic. Demographics The population of Madrid has overall increased since the city became the capital of Spain in the mid-16th century, and has stabilized at approximately 3 million since the 1970s. From 1970 until the mid-1990s, the population dropped. This phenomenon, which also affected other European cities, was caused in part by the growth of satellite suburbs at the expense of the downtown region within the city proper. This also occurred during a period of slowed growth in the European economy. The demographic boom accelerated in the late 1990s and early first decade of the 21st century due to immigration in parallel with a surge in Spanish economic growth. According to census data, the population of the city grew by 271,856 between 2001 and 2005. The Community of Madrid is the EU region with the highest average life expectancy at birth. The average life expectancy was 82.2 years for males and 87.8 for females in 2016. Topic. Immigration As the capital city of Spain, the city has attracted many immigrants from around the world. In 2015, about 89.8% .8 of the inhabitants were Spanish, while people of other origins, including immigrants from Latin America, Europe, Asia, North Africa and West Africa, represented 10.2% of the population. The ten largest immigrant groups include, Ecuadorian, 104,184, Romanian, 52,875, Bolivian, 44,044, Colombian, 35,971, Peruvian, 35,083, Chinese, 34,666, Moroccan, 32,498, Dominican, 19,602, Brazilian, 14,000, 1,583, and Paraguayan, 14,308. There were 2,476 Japanese citizens registered with the Japanese Embassy in Madrid in 1993. There are also important communities of Filipinos, Equatorial Guineans, Uruguayans, Bulgarians, Greeks, Indians, Italians, Argentines, Senegalese and Poles. Districts that host the largest number of immigrants are Ucera 28.37%, Centro 16.87%, Carabancal 22.72%, and Tetuan 21.54%. Districts that host the smallest number are Fuancaral El Pardo 9.27%, Retiro 9.64%, and Chamatín 11.74%. Many members of Madrid's Japanese community, particularly those with children, live in Majadahonda, Miraciera, the Vawada, and other areas in northwest Madrid, in proximity to the Japanese International School. Central Madrid attracted many Japanese company employees without children due to its proximity to places of employment. Topic. Religion Most people in Madrid are Roman Catholic. It is the seat of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Madrid. In a 2011 survey conducted by InfoCatolica, 63.3% of Madrid residents of all ages identified themselves as Catholic. Topic. Government and administration
Topic: Local government and administration. The City Council consists of 57 members, one of them being the Mayor. The Mayor presides over the Council. The plenary of the Council is the body of political representation of the citizens in the municipal government. Some of its attributions are, fiscal matters, the election and deposition of the Mayor, the approval and modification of decrees and regulations, the approval of budgets, the agreements related to the limits and alteration of the municipal term, the services management, the participation in supramunicipal organizations, etc. Nowadays, mayoral team consists of the mayor, the deputy mayor and eight delegates, all of them form the board of delegates, the municipal executive committee, since 2007, the Cyberly Palace, or Palace of Communications, serves as city hall. Madrid has tended to be a stronghold of the People's Party, PP, right of center political party, which has controlled the city's mayoralty since 1989. In the 2007 regional and local elections, the People's Party obtained 34 seats, the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party PSOE, left of center political party obtained 18 and United Left U, left-wing political party obtained 5. In the 2015 election, however, the PP was the party with the most votes but failed to gain a majority with the leftist Ahora Madrid the runner-up. Manuela Carmina, mayoral candidate for the later, was proclaimed mayor after a deal was reached between her party and the PSOE. Topic. Districts Madrid is administratively divided into 21 districts, which are further subdivided into 128 wards, barrios, Centro, Palacio, Embajadores, Cortes, Justicia, Universidad, Sol. Arganzuela, Imperial, Acacias, La Chopra, Legazpi, Delicias, Palos de Mogua, Atocha. Retiro, Pacifico, Adolfus, Estrella, Ibiza, Geronimos, Nino Jesus. Salamanca, Recolitos, Goya, Fuente del Berro, Guindalera, Lista, Castellana. Chamatín, El Viso, Prosperidad, Ciudad Jardín, Hispanoamerica, Nueva España, Castilla. Tetuán, Bellas Vistas, Cuatro Caminos, Castillejos, Almanara, Valdecideras, Berigit. Chambery, Gaztambide, Arapiles, Trafalgar, Almagro, Vallejomoso, Reese Roses. Fuancaral El Pardo, El Pardo, Fuentelarina, Penagrande, Barrio del Pilar, La Paz, Valverde, Miraciera, El Goloso. Monclor Aravaca, Casa de Campo, Argules, Ciudad Universitaria, Valdizaza, Valdemarine, El Plantio, Aravaca. Latina, Los Camines, Puerta del Ancle, Lucero, Alush, Las Orguilas, Campamento, Cuatro Bientos. Carabancal, Camillas, Opanel, San Isidro, Vista Alegre, Puerta Benita, Buenavista, Abrantes. Eucera, Orcasitas, Orcasa, San Fermín, Almendrales, Moscado, Zofio, Pradalongo. Puente de Valacas, Entrevias, San Diego, Palomiras Bajas, Palomiras Suresta, Portasgo, Numancia. Maratalas, Pavones, Horcajo, Marikina, Media Lagoa, Fontaran, Vinateros. Ciudad Lineal, Ventas, Pueblo Nuevo, Quintana, La Concepción, San Pascual, San Juan Bautista, Colina, Atalaya, Costales. Portaleza, Palomas, Valdifuentes, Canias, Pinar del Rey, Apostol Santiago, Piavera. Villaverde, Villaverde Alto, San Cristobal, Batarp, Los Rosales, Los Ancoles. Villa de Valacas, Casco Histórico de Valacas, Santa Eugenia. Vicalvaro, Casco Histórico de Vicalvaro, Ambros. San Blas, Simancas, Helene, Amposta, Arcos, Roses, Rejas, Caniejas, Salvador. Barajas, Alameda de Osuna, Aeropuerto, Casco Histórico de Barajas, Timón, Coralejos. Topic. Regional capital Madrid is the capital of the Community of Madrid. The region has its own legislature and it enjoys a wide range of competencies in areas such as social spending, healthcare, education. The seat of the regional parliament, the Assembly of Madrid is located at the district of Puente de Valacas. 
The presidency of the regional government is headquartered at the Royal House of the Post Office, at the very center of the city, the Puerta del Sol. Topic. Capital of Spain Madrid is the capital of the Kingdom of Spain. The King of Spain, whose functions are mainly ceremonial, has their official residence in the Zarzuela Palace. As the seat of the government of Spain, Madrid also houses the official residence of the President of the Government Prime Minister, and regular meeting place of the Council of Ministers, the Moncloa Palace, as well as the headquarters of the ministerial departments. Both the residences of the head of state and government are located at the northwest of the city. Additionally, the seats of the lower and upper chambers of the Spanish Parliament, the Cortes Generales, respectively, the Palacio de las Cortes and the Palacio del Senado, also lie on Madrid. Topic. Metropolitan area The Madrid metropolitan area comprises the city of Madrid and 40 surrounding municipalities. It has a population of slightly more than 6.271 million people and covers an area of 4,609.7 square kilometers, 1,780 square miles. It is the largest metropolitan area in Spain and the third largest in the European Union. As with many metropolitan areas of similar size, two distinct zones of urbanization can be distinguished. In a ring, Primera Corona, Alcorcón, Leganés, Getafe, Mostoles, Fuenlabrada, Coslada, Alcabendas, Pozuelo de Alacón, San Fernando de Henares. Outer ring, Segunda Corona, Villaviciosa de Odin, Parla, Pinto, Valdemoro, Rivas Vacia Madrid, Torrejón de Ardoz, Alcalá de Henares, San Sebastián de los Reyes, Tres Cantos, Las Rozas de Madrid, Majada Honda, Bodila del Monte. Largest suburbs are to the south, and in general along the main routes leading out of Madrid. Submetropolitan areas inside Madrid metropolitan area. Topic. Cityscape Topic. Architecture Little medieval architecture is preserved in Madrid, mostly in the Almendra Central, including the San Nicolás and San Pedro el Viejo church towers, the Church of Saint Jerome, and the Bishop's Chapel. Nor has Madrid retained much Renaissance architecture, other than the Bridge of Segovia and the Convent of Las Descalzas Reales. Many of the historic buildings of Madrid date from the Spanish Golden Age, which coincided with the Habsburg's reign 1516-1700. Philip II moved his court to Madrid in 1561 and transformed the town into a capital city. These reforms were embodied in the Plaza Mayor, characterized by its symmetry and austerity, as well as the new Alcazar, which would become the second most impressive royal palace of the kingdom. The material used during the Habsburg era was mostly brick, and the humble facades contrast with the elaborate interiors. Notable buildings include the Prison of the Court, the Palace of the Councils, the Royal Convent of La Incarnation, and the Buen Retiro Palace. The Imperial College Church model dome was imitated in all of Spain. Pedro de Ribera introduced Churrigueresque architecture to Madrid, the Cuartel del Con Duque, the Church of Montserrat, and the Bridge of Toledo are among the best examples. The reign of the Bourbons during the 18th century marked a new era in the city. Philip V tried to complete King Philip II's vision of urbanization of Madrid. Philip V built a palace in line with French taste, as well as other buildings such as St. Michael's Basilica and the Church of Santa Barbara. King Charles III beautified the city and endeavored to convert Madrid into one of the great European capitals. He pushed forward the construction of the Prado Museum, originally intended as a natural science museum, the Puerta de Alcalá, the Royal Observatory, the Basilica of San Francisco el Grande, the Casa de Correos in Puerta del Sol, the Real Casa de la Aduana, and the General Hospital, which now houses the Reina Sofia Museum and Royal Conservatory of Music. The Paseo del Prado, surrounded by gardens and decorated with neoclassical statues, is an example of urban planning. The Duke of Berwick ordered the construction of the Lyria Palace. 
During the early 19th century, the Peninsula War, the loss of viceroyalties in the Americas, and continuing coups limited the city's architectural development Royal Theatre, the National Library of Spain, the Palace of the Senate, and the Congress. The Segovia Viaduct linked the Royal Alcazar to the southern part of town. From the mid-19th century until the Civil War, Madrid modernized and built new neighborhoods and monuments. The expansion of Madrid developed under the Plan Castro, resulting in the neighborhoods of Salamanca, Argules, and Chambery. Arturo Soria conceived the linear city and built the first few kilometers of the road that bears his name, which embodies the idea. The Gran Via was built using different styles that evolved over time, French style, eclectic, art deco, and expressionist. Antonio Palacios built a series of buildings inspired by the Viennese Secession, such as the Palace of Communication, the Fine Arts Circle of Madrid Sculo de Bellas Artes, and the Rio de la Plata Bank Instituto Cervantes. Other notable buildings include the Bank of Spain, the Neo-Gothic Almudena Cathedral, Atocha Station, and the Catalan Art Nouveau Palace of Longoria. Las Ventas Bullring was built, as the Market of San Miguel cast iron style. The civil war severely damaged the city. Subsequently, the old town and the ensanche were destroyed, and numerous blocks of flats were built. Examples of post-war architecture include the Spanish Air Force headquarters and the skyscrapers of Plaza de España, at the time, the 1950s, the highest in Europe, with the advent of Spanish economic development, skyscrapers, such as Torre Picasso, Torres Blancas and Torre BBVA, and the Gate of Europe, appeared in the late 20th century in the city. During the decade of the 2000s, the four tallest skyscrapers in Spain were built and together form the Cuatro Torres business area. Terminal 4 at Madrid Barajas Airport was inaugurated in 2006 and won several architectural awards. Terminal 4 is one of the world's largest terminal areas and features glass panes and domes in the roof, which allow natural light to pass through. Topic. Urban sculpture The streets of Madrid are a veritable museum of outdoor sculpture. The Museum of Outdoor Sculpture, located in the Paseo de la Castellana, is dedicated to abstract works, among which is the Sirena Varada Stranda Mermaid by Eduardo Chalida. Since the 18th century, the Paseo del Prado has been decorated with an iconographic program with classical monumental fountains, the Fuente de la Alcachova, Fountain of the Artichoke, the Cuatro Fuentes, Four Fountains, the Fuente de Neptuno, Fountain of Neptune, the Fuente de Apollo, Fountain of Apollo, and the Fuente de Sibilis, Fountain of Sibili, also known as Fountain of Sibilis, all designed by Ventura Rodriguez. The equestrian sculptures are particularly important, starting chronologically with two designed in the 17th century, the statue of Philip III, in the Plaza Mayor by Giambologna, and the statue of Philip IV, in the Plaza de Oriente, undoubtedly the most important statue of Madrid, projected by Velázquez and built by Pietro Tacca with scientific advice of Galileo Galilei. Many areas of the Buen Retiro Park Parque del Retiro are really sculptural scenography, among them are the Fallen Angel by Ricardo Belva and the monument to Alfonso XII, designed by José Grazes Riera. In another vein are the neon advertising signs, some of which have acquired a historic range and are legally protected, such as Schweppes in Plaza de Callao or Tio Pepe in the Puerta del Sol, recently retired from its location for the restoration of the building. Topic. Environment Madrid is the European city with the highest number of trees and green surface per inhabitant and it has the second highest number of aligned trees in the world, with 248,000 units, only exceeded by Tokyo. Madrid's citizens have access to a green area within a 15-minute walk. Since 1997, green areas have increased by 16%. At present, 8.2% of Madrid's grounds are green areas, meaning that there are 16 square meters, 172 square feet of green area per inhabitant, far exceeding the 10 square meters, 108 square feet per inhabitant recommended by the World Health Organization. Buen Retiro Park, Parque del Buen Retiro, or simply Parque del Retiro, formerly the grounds of the palace built for Philip IV of Spain, is the largest park in central Madrid. 
Its area is more than 1.4 square kilometers, 0.5 square miles, 350 acres, and it is located very close to the Puerta de Alcalor and not far from the Prado Museum. The park is entirely surrounded by the present-day city. Its lake in the middle once staged mini naval sham battles to amuse royalty. These days the more tranquil pastime of pleasure boating is popular. Inspired by London's Crystal Palace, the Palacio de Crystal can be found at the southeastern end of the park. In the Buen Retiro Park is also the Forest of the Departed Bosque de los Osentes, a memorial monument to commemorate the 191 victims of the 11th of March 2004 Madrid attacks. Atocha Railway Station de Atocha is the city's first and most central station, and is also home to a 4,000-square-metre indoor garden, with more than 500 species of plant life and ponds with turtles and goldfish in. Casa de Campo is an enormous urban parkland to the west of the city, the largest in Spain and Madrid's main green lung. Its area is more than 1,700 hectares 6.6 .6 square miles. It is home to a fairground, the Madrid Zoo, an amusement park, the Parque de Atracciones de Madrid, and an outdoor municipal pool. To enjoy a bird's eye view of the park and city take a cable car trip above the treetops. Casa de Campo's vegetation is one of its most important features. There are, in fact, three different ecosystems, oak, pine and river groves. The oak is the dominant tree species in the area and, although many of them are over 100 years old and reach a great height, they are also present in the form of chaparral and bushes. The pine forest ecosystem boasts a large number of trees that have adapted perfectly to the light, dry conditions in the park. In addition, mushrooms often emerge after the first rains of autumn. Finally, the river groves, or riparian forests, are made up of various, mainly deciduous, species that grow in wetter areas. Examples include poplars, willows and alder trees. As regards fauna, this green space is home to approximately 133 vertebrate species. The Royal Botanical Garden of Madrid, Real Jardín Botánico de Madrid is an 8-hectare botanical garden located in the Plaza de Murillo, next to the Prado Museum. It was an 18th-century creation by Carlos III and it was used as a base for the plant species being collected across the globe. There is an important research facility that started life as a base to develop herbal remedies and to house the species collected from the New World trips. Today it is dedicated to maintaining Europe's ecosystem. The Royal Palace Palacio Real is surrounded by three green areas. In front of the palace, are the gardens of the Plaza de Oriente, to the north, the gardens of Sabatini and to the west up to the Manzanares River, the famous Campo del Moro. Campo del Moro Gardens has a surface area of 20 hectares and is a scenic garden with an unusual layout filled with foliage and an air of English Romanticism. The Sabatini Gardens have a formal neoclassic style, consisting of well-trimmed hedges, in symmetric geometrical patterns, adorned with a pool, statues and fountains, with trees also planted in a symmetrical geometric shape. Plaza de Oriente can distinguish three main plots, the Central Gardens, the Carbo Noval Gardens and the Lepanto Gardens. The Central Gardens are arranged around the central monument to Philip IV, in a grid, following the Baroque model garden. They consist of seven flowerbeds, each packed with box hedges, forms of cypress, yew and magnolia of small size, and flower plantations, temporary. These are bounded on either side by rows of statues paths, popularly known as the Gothic Kings, and mark the dividing line between the main body of the plaza and the Carbo Noval Gardens at north, and the Lepanto Gardens at south. Mount of El Pardo, Monte de El Pardo is a Mediterranean forest inside the city of Madrid. It is one of the best preserved Mediterranean forests in Europe. The European Union has designated the Monte de El Pardo as a special protection area for bird life. This meadow, which has been used as hunting grounds by the royalty given the variety of game animals that have inhabited it since the Middle Ages, is home to 120 flora species and 200 vertebrae species. Rabbits, red partridges, wild cats, stags, deer and wild boars live among ilexes, cork oaks, ash trees, black poplars, oaks, junipers and rockroses. Monte del Pardo is part of the regional park of the High Basin of the Manzanares, spreading out from the Guadarrama Mountains range to the center of Madrid, and protected by strong legal regulations. 
Just before crossing the city, the river Manzanares forms a valley composed by sandy elements and detritus from the mountain range. Soto de Vinuelas, also known as Mount Vinuelas, is a meadow oak forest north of the city of Madrid and east of the Monte de El Pardo. It is a fenced property of about 3,000 hectares, which includes important ecological values, landscape and art. Soto de Vinuelas is part of the regional park of the High Basin of the Manzanares, a nature reserve which is recognized as a biosphere reserve by UNESCO, where it has been classified as Area B, the legal instrument that allows agricultural land use. Soto de Vinuelas has also received the statement of special protection area for birds. El Caprico is a 14-hectare garden located in the area of Barajas district. It dates back to 1784. The art of landscaping in El Caprico is displayed in three different styles of classical gardenscapes, the parterre, or French garden, English landscaping and the Italian giardino. Madrid Rio Madrid River is a linear park that runs along the bank of the Manzanares River, in the middle of Madrid. It is an area of parkland 10 km six miles long and covers 649 hectares in six districts, Moncloa Aravica, Centro, Arganzuela, Latina, Carabancal and Usera. It is a large area of environmental, sporting, leisure and cultural interest. Madrid Rio provides a link with other green spaces in the city such as Casa de Campo and the linear park of the Manzanares River. The main landscaped area in Madrid Rio is the Arganzuela Park, covering 23 hectares where pedestrian and cycling routes cover the whole park. The Madrid Rio cycling network covers some 30 kilometers, 19 miles, and is linked to other bike routes. To the north, Madrid Rio connects to the Senda Real, the green ring for cyclists and the E7 GR10 trail, which goes as far as the Sierra de Guadarrama mountain range. To the south, Madrid Rio provides access to the Enrique Tierno Galvan Park and the linear park of the Manzanares River, an extensive green zone running parallel to the river as far as Getafe. As well as the cycle routes there are 42 kilometers 26 miles of paths for walkers and runners. In the Salon de Pinos, a 6 kilometer long tree line promenade, there are circuits for aerobic and anaerobic exercise, while near the Puente de Praga Bridge there is a tennis court and seven tennis courts. The theme park Fornia is a natural history museum and zoo combined, aimed at being fun and educational for children. It comprises eight ecosystems from tropical rainforests to polar regions, and contains over 1,500 animals, some of which roam freely within. Topic. Economy After it became the capital of Spain in the 16th century, Madrid was more a center of consumption than of production or trade. Economic activity was largely devoted to supplying the city's own rapidly growing population, including the royal household and national government, and to such trades as banking and publishing. A large industrial sector did not develop until the 20th century, but thereafter industry greatly expanded and diversified, making Madrid the second industrial city in Spain. However, the economy of the city is now becoming more and more dominated by the service sector. Madrid is the fifth most important leading center of commerce in Europe after London, Paris, Frankfurt and Amsterdam and ranks 11th in the world. Topic: Economic history. As the capital city of the Spanish Empire from 1561, Madrid's population grew rapidly. Administration, banking, and small-scale manufacturing centered on the royal court were among the main activities, but the city was more a locus of consumption than production or trade, geographically isolated as it was before the coming of the railways. Industry started to develop on a large scale only in the 20th century, but then grew rapidly, especially during the Spanish Miracle period around the 1960s. The economy of the city was then centered on diverse manufacturing industries such as those related to motor vehicles, aircraft, chemicals, electronic devices, pharmaceuticals, processed food, printed materials, and leather goods. Since the restoration of democracy in the late 1970s, the city has continued to expand. Its economy is now among the most dynamic and diverse in the European Union. Present-day economy 
Madrid concentrates activities directly connected with power central and regional government, headquarters of Spanish companies, regional HQ of multinationals, financial institutions and with knowledge and technological innovation research centers and universities. It is one of Europe's largest financial centers and the largest in Spain. The city has 17 universities and over 30 research centers. It is the third metropolis in the EU by population, and the fourth by gross internal product. Leading employers include Telefonica, Iberia, Prosegor, BBVA, Urbesa, Dragados, and FCC. The Comunidad de Madrid, containing the city and surrounding areas, had a GDP of €204 billion Euros in 2015, equating to a GDP per capita of €31,812. In 2011 the city itself had a GDP per capita 74% above the national average and 70% above that of the 27 European Union member states, although 11% behind the average of the top 10 cities of the EU. Although housing just over 50% of the region's as population, the city generates 65.9% of its GDP. Following the recession commencing 2007 8 recovery was underway by 2014, with forecast growth rates for the city of 1.4% in 2014, 2.7% in 2015, and 2.8% in 2016. The economy of Madrid has become based increasingly on the service sector. In 2011, services accounted for 85.9% of value added, while industry contributed 7.9% and construction 6.1%. Nevertheless, Madrid continues to hold the position of Spain's second industrial center after Barcelona, specializing particularly in high technology production. Following the recession, services and industry were forecast to return to growth in 2014, and construction in 2015. Topic. Standard of living mean household income and spending are 12% above the Spanish average. The proportion classified as at risk of poverty in 2010 was 15.6%, up from 13.0% in 2006 but less than the average for Spain of 21.8%. The proportion classified as affluent was 43.3%, much higher than Spain overall 28.6%. Consumption by Madrid residents has been affected by job losses and by austerity measures, including a rise in sales tax from 8% to 21% in 2012, although residential property prices have fallen by 39% since 2007. The average price of dwelling space was €2,375.60 per square m, in early 2014, and is shown as second only to London in a list of 22 European cities. Topic. Employment Participation in the labor force was 1,638,200 in 2011, or 79.0%. The employed workforce comprised 49% women in 2011, Spain, 45%. 41% of economically active people are university graduates, against 24% for Spain as a whole. In 2011, the unemployment rate was 15.8%, remaining lower than in Spain as a whole. Among those aged 16 to 24, the unemployment rate was 39.6%. Unemployment reached a peak of 19.1% in 2013, but with the start of an economic recovery in 2014, employment started to increase. Employment continues to shift further towards the service sector, with 86% of all jobs in this sector by 2011, against 74% in all of Spain. In the second quarter of 2018 the unemployment rate was 10.06%. Topic services The share of services in the city's economy is 86%. Services to business, transport and communications, property and financial together account for 52% of total value added. The types of services that are now expanding are mainly those that facilitate movement of capital, information, goods and persons, and advanced business services, such as research and development, R&D, information technology, and technical accountancy. Banks based in Madrid carry out 72% of the banking activity in Spain. The Spanish Central Bank, Bank of Spain, has existed in Madrid since 1782. 
Stocks and shares, bond markets, insurance, and pension funds are other important forms of financial institution in the city. Madrid is an important center for trade fairs, many of them coordinated by IFEMA, the Trade Fair Institution of Madrid. The public sector employs 18.1% of all employees. Madrid attracts about 8M tourists annually from other parts of Spain and from all over the world, exceeding even Barcelona. Spending by tourists in Madrid was estimated 2011 at 9,546.5 million euros, or 7.7% of the city's GDP. The construction of transport infrastructure has been vital to maintain the economic position of Madrid. Travel to work and other local journeys use a high-capacity metropolitan road network and a well-used public transport system. In terms of longer-distance transport, Madrid is the central node of the system of autovias and of the high-speed rail network, Avenue, which has brought major cities such as Seville and Barcelona within 2.5 hours travel time. Also important to the city's economy is Madrid Barajas Airport, the fourth-largest airport in Europe. Madrid's central location makes it a major logistical base. Topic industry As an industrial center Madrid retains its advantages in infrastructure, as a transport hub, and as the location of headquarters of many companies. Industries based on advanced technology are acquiring much more importance here than in the rest of Spain. Industry contributed 7.5% to Madrid's value added in 2010. However, industry has slowly declined within the city boundaries as more industry has moved outward to the periphery. Industrial gross value added grew by 4.3% in the period 2003-2005, but decreased by 10% during 2008-2010. The leading industries were, paper, printing and publishing, 28.8%, energy and mining, 19.7%, vehicles and transport equipment, 12.9%, electrical and electronic, 10.3%, foodstuffs, 9.6%, clothing, footwear and textiles, 8.3%, chemical, 7.9%, industrial machinery, 7.3%. Topic. Construction The construction sector, contributing 6.5% to the city's economy in 2010, was a growing sector before the recession, aided by a large transport and infrastructure program. More recently the construction sector has fallen away and earned 8% less in 2009 than it had been in 2000. The decrease was particularly marked in the residential sector, where prices dropped by 25% to 27% from 2007 to 2012-13 and the number of sales fell by 57%. Topic. International rankings A recent study placed Madrid 7th among 36 cities as an attractive base for business. It was placed third in terms of availability of office space, and fifth for ease of access to markets, availability of qualified staff, mobility within the city, and quality of life. Its less favorable characteristics were seen as pollution, languages spoken, and political environment. Another ranking of European cities placed Madrid fifth among 25 cities behind Berlin, London, Paris and Frankfurt, being rated favorably on economic factors and the labor market, and on transport and communication. Topic. Media Madrid is home to numerous newspapers, magazines and publications, including ABC, El País, El Mundo, La Razón, Marca, Ola, Diarios, El Confidencial and Cinco Días. The Spanish international news agency FA maintains its headquarters in Madrid since its inception in 1939. The second news agency of Spain is the privately owned Europa Press, founded and headquartered in Madrid since 1953. RTVE, the state-owned Spanish radio and television corporation is headquartered in Madrid along with all its TV and radio channels and web services, La One, La Two, Plan, Teledeport, 24 Horas, TVE International, Radio Nacional de España, Radio Exterior de España, Radio Clashitza. The Atres Media Group, Antena 3, La Sexta, Onda Cero, is headquartered in nearby San Sebastián de los Reyes. 
The television network and media production company, the largest in Spain, Mediaset España Comunicación, Telecinco, Cuatro, maintains its headquarters in Fuencarral El Pardo district. The Spanish media conglomerate PRISA, Cadena Sur, Los Forti Principales, M80 Radio, Cadena Dial, is headquartered in Gran Via Street in central Madrid. Topic. Art and culture Topic. Museums and art centers Madrid is considered one of the top European destinations concerning art museums. Best known is the Golden Triangle of Art, located along the Paseo del Prado and comprising three museums. The most famous one is the Prado Museum, known for such highlights as Diego Velázquez's Las Meninas and Francisco de Goya's La Major Vestida and La Major Desnuda. The other two museums are the thyssen bornemisza Museum, established from a mixed private collection, and the Reina Sofia Museum, where Pablo Picasso's Guernica is exhibited, returned to Spain from New York after more than two decades. The Prado Museum Museo del Prado is a museum and art gallery that features one of the world's finest collections of European art, from the 12th century to the early 19th century, based on the former Spanish royal collection. The collection currently comprises around 7,600 paintings, 1,000 sculptures, 4,800 prints and 8,200 drawings, in addition to a large number of works of art and historic documents. El Prado is one of the most visited museums in the world, and it is considered to be among the greatest museums of art. It has the best collection of artworks by Goya, Velázquez, El Greco, Rubens, Titian, Hieronymus Bosch, José de Ribera, and Patinia as well as works by Rogier van der Weyden, Rafael Sancio, Tintoretto, Veronese, Caravaggio, Van Dyck, Albrecht Dürer, Claude Lorraine, Murillo, and Zabaron, among others. Among the most famous paintings in this museum are Las Meninas, The Garden of Earthly Delights, The Immaculate Conception, and The Judgment of Paris. The National Archaeological Museum of Madrid Museo Archaeologico Nacional shows archaeological finds from prehistory to the 19th century, especially from the Iberian Peninsula, distributed over three floors. Some of its most representative works are the Lady of Elche, Lady of Baza, Lady of Cerro de los Santos, Lady of Ibiza, Beecher of Balazote, Treasure of Guarazar, Pixis of Zamora, Mausoleum of Pozo Moro or Anapia's Bones. Its collections of Roman mosaics, Greek ceramics, Islamic art and Romanesque art are very important. In addition, the museum has a reproduction of the roof of the polychromes of the Altamira cave in an underground room under the outside garden. The Reina Sofia National Art Museum Museo Nacional Centro de Art Reina Sofia, abbreviated as MNCARS, is Madrid's national museum of 20th century art. The museum is mainly dedicated to Spanish art. Highlights of the museum include excellent collections of Spain's greatest 20th century masters, Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali, Joan Miro, Juan Gris, and Julio González. Certainly the most famous masterpiece in the museum is Picasso's painting Guernica. The Reina Sofia also hosts a free access library specializing in art, with a collection of over 100,000 books, over 3,500 sound recordings, and almost 1,000 videos. The thyssen bornemisza Museum Museo thyssen is an art museum that fills the historical gaps in its counterparts' collections. In the Prado's case, this includes Italian primitives and works from the English, Dutch, and German schools, while in the case of the Reina Sofia, the thyssen bornemisza collection, once the second largest private collection in the world after the British Royal Collection, includes Impressionists, Expressionists, and European and American paintings from the second half of the 20th century, with over 1,600 paintings. The Royal Academy of Fine Arts of San Fernando Real Academia de Bellas Artes de San Fernando currently functions as a museum and gallery that houses a fine art collection of paintings from the 15th to 20th centuries, including works by Giovanni Bellini, Correggio, Rubens, Zabaron, Murillo, Goya, Juan Gris, and Pablo Serrano. The Academy is also the headquarters of the Madrid Academy of Art. Francisco Goya was once one of the Academy's directors, and its alumni include Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali, Antonio López García, Juan Luna, and Fernando Botero. 
The Royal Palace of Madrid, Palacio Real de Madrid, is the official residence of Felipe VI of Spain, but he uses it only for official acts. It is a Baroque palace full of artworks and is one of the largest European royal palaces, characterized by its luxurious rooms and its rich collections of armors and weapons, pharmaceuticals, silverware, watches, paintings, tapestries, and the most comprehensive collection of Stradivarius in the World Thay Museum of the Americas Museo de America is a national museum that holds artistic, archaeological, and ethnographic collections from the Americas, ranging from the Paleolithic period to the present day. The permanent exhibit is divided into five major themed areas, an awareness of the Americas, the reality of the Americas, society, religion, and communication. The National Museum of Natural Sciences Museo Nacional de Ciencias Naturales is Spain's National Museum of Natural History. The research departments of the museum are biodiversity and evolutionary biology, evolutionary ecology, paleobiology, volcanology, and geology. The Naval Museum Museo Naval is managed by the Ministry of Defense. The museum's mission is to acquire, preserve, investigate, report, and display for study, education, and contemplation parts, sets, and collections of historical, artistic, scientific, and technical works related to naval activity in order to disseminate Spanish maritime history, to help illustrate, highlight, and preserve their traditions, and promote national maritime awareness. The convent of Las Descalzas Reals Monasterio de Las Descalzas Reals resides in the former palace of King Charles I of Spain and Isabella of Portugal. Their daughter, Joan of Austria, founded this convent of nuns of the Poor Clare Order in 1559. Throughout the remainder of the 16th century and into the 17th century, the convent attracted young widowed or spinster noblewomen. Each woman brought with her a dowry. The riches quickly piled up, and the convent became one of the richest convents in all of Europe. It has many works of Renaissance and Baroque art, including a recumbent Christ by Gaspar Becerra, a staircase whose paintings were painted by an unknown artist, perhaps Velázquez, and that are considered masterpieces of Spanish illusionistic painting, and Brussels tapestries inspired by paintings of Rubens. The Museum of Lozaro Galdiano, Museo de Lozaro Galdiano, houses an encyclopedic collection specializing in decorative arts. Apart from paintings and sculptures, it displays 10th-century Byzantine enamel, Arab and Byzantine ivory chests, Hellenistic, Roman, medieval, Renaissance, Baroque, and Romantic jewelry, Pisanello and Pompeo Leone medals, Spanish and Italian ceramics, Italian and Arab clothes, and a collection of weapons, including the sword of Pope Innocent VIII. The National Museum of Decorative Arts Museo Nacional de Artes Decorativas is one of the oldest museums in the city and illustrates the evolution of the so-called minor arts, furniture, ceramics and glass, textile, etc. Its 60 rooms display 15,000 of the Institute's approximately 40,000 total. The National Museum of Romanticism Museo Nacional de Romanticismo contains a large collection of artifacts and art, focusing on daily life and customs of the 19th century, with special attention to the aesthetics of Romanticism. The Museum Seralbo Museo Seralbo houses a private collection of ancient works of art, artifacts and other antiquities collected by Enrique de Aguilera y Gamboa, 17th Marquis of Seralbo. The National Museum of Anthropology Museo Nacional de Antropologia provides an overview of different cultures, with objects and human remains from around the world, highlighting a guanche mummy from Tenerife. The Sirola Museum Museo Sirola is located in the building in which the Valencian Impressionist painter had his home and workshop. It maintains the original atmosphere of the home and studio of the painter, Joaquin Sirola y Bastida, Valencia, 1863 Cercedilla, 1923, and houses the largest collection of his works. It is one of the artist's most complete and best conserved houses in Europe and its garden, which was also designed by him, is a precious oasis in the city. The collection includes, in addition to numerous works by Joaquin Sirola, a large number of objects that the artist possessed, including sculptures by Auguste Rodin. Cachaforum Madrid is a postmodern art gallery in the center of Madrid. It is sponsored by the Catalan Balearic Bank La Caixa and located next to the Salon del Prado. Although the Cachaforum is a modern building, it also exhibits retrospectives of artists from earlier time periods and has evolved into one of the most visited museums in Madrid. It was constructed by the Swiss architects Herzog and de Mouron from 2001 to 2007, who took an unused industrial building and hollowed it out at the base and inside and then added additional floors encased with rusted steel. 
Next to the gallery is an art installation by French botanist Patrick Blanc of green plants growing on the wall of the neighboring house. The red of the top floors with the green of the wall next to it form a contrast. The green is in reflection of the neighboring Royal Botanical Garden. Major cultural centers organize parallel cultural events housed in unique buildings. Centro Centro is an exhibition space in Sibylle's Palace, formerly the Palace of Communications and now the City Hall. Two social areas have been set up and offer catalogues and publications about current exhibitions and cultural events along the Art Walk. Near these social areas are two large street maps showing the 59 institutions, monuments and buildings of special interest that make the Art Walk such a diverse experience. The Fine Arts Circle Sculo de Bellas Artes, built by Antonio Palacios, is one of Madrid's oldest arts centers and one of the most important private cultural centers in Europe. It is a multidisciplinary center with activities ranging from visual art to literature, science to philosophy, film and to the performing arts. Nowadays it hosts exhibitions, shows, film screenings, conferences and workshops. Its radio programming and magazine Minerva play an important part in the country's cultural life. Matadero Madrid, literally Madrid Abattoir, is a complex situated by the River Manzanares whose buildings are an architectural ensemble devoted to performance arts, managed and programmed by the Teatro Español Madrid. Matadero is a flexible area that allows the autonomous operation of three interconnected spaces, a theater café, which accommodates small-scale shows, a large stage, for all sorts of genres and more experimental options, and a third building for dressing rooms and areas for training, debate, analysis and rehearsing new productions. Hong Duke Cultural Center has expanded the amount of space dedicated to culture and art. The new installations now accommodate a theater, an exhibition hall and an auditorium with a year-round program. The Museum Seralbo contains funds that include works by El Greco, Tintoretto and Zabaron, apart from an important collection of armor, porcelain and numismatics, in a 19th-century palace. The Museum of the History of Madrid, formerly called Museo Municipal, houses pieces related to the history of the city in an important Baroque building designed by the architect Pedro de Ribera. The Wax Museum of Madrid, located opposite the Plaza de Colón, houses more than 400 wax figures, showing the history of Spain through different scenarios. It also features figures of contemporary characters such as Brad Pitt, George Clooney, Andres Iniesta, Cristiano Ronaldo, Antonio Banderas and Woody Allen, among others. The Railway Museum, located in the building that was once the Delicia Station, hoards a collection of locomotives and wagons that have been part of the history of the Renfe and the companies that preceded it. It is organized by tractions, steam, diesel and electric. There is also a space dedicated to modeling, to fixed material and the Sala Talgo. Other museums in the capital are the Costume Museum, the Public Art Museum, formerly the Open Air Sculpture Museum of La Castellana, the Museum of Origins of Madrid, former San Isidro Museum, the Geomineral Museum, the once Tiflological Museum, the Museum of Arts and Popular Traditions of the Autonomous University of Madrid or the Museum of Aeronautics and Astronautics, Museo del Air of Cuatro Vientos. Topic. Landmarks In the year 2006, Madrid was the fourth most visited city in Europe and the first in Spain, with almost 7 million tourists. It is also the seat of the World Tourism Organization and the International Tourism Fair, FITUR. Most of the tourist attractions of Madrid are in the Old Town and the Ensanche, corresponding with the districts of Centro, Salamanca, Chambery, Retiro, and Arganzuela. The nerve center of the city is the Puerta del Sol, the starting point for the numbering of all city streets and all the country's highways. The Calle de Alcalá or Alcalá Street leads from the Puerta del Sol from the NE of the city. From the street you get from Plaza de Sibeles. Subsequently, the street reaches the Plaza de la Independencia, which includes the Puerta de Alcalá and an entrance to the Buen Retiro Park. The Calais Mayor leads to Plaza Mayor continuing for the so-called Madrid de los Austrias, in reference to the dynasty of Habsburg, finally reaching Calais de Bailén, near the Cathedral of the Almudena and the Church of San Francisco el Grande. The Calais del Arenal comes to Royal Theatre in Plaza de la Opera, continuing through Plaza de Oriente, where the Royal Palace is. 
From there, the Calais Balan leads to the Plaza de España and the Temple of Debard, an Egyptian temple moved stone by stone to Spain in gratitude for their help in the construction of the Aswan Dam. Also in this square is the start of the Gran Via Street. <laughs> Churches Madrid has a considerable number of Catholic churches, some of which are among the most important Spanish religious artworks. The oldest church that survives today is San Nicolás de los Servitas, whose oldest item is the bell tower 12th century, in Mudéjar style. The next oldest church is San Pedro el Real, with its high brick tower. St. Jerome Church is a Gothic church next to El Prado Museum. The Catholic monarchs ordered its construction in the 15th century, as part of a vanished monastery. The monastery's cloister is preserved. It has recently been renovated by Rafael Monio, with the goal to house the neoclassical collection of El Prado Museum, and also sculptures by Leone Leone and Pompeo Leone. The Bishop Chapel is a Gothic chapel built in the 16th century by order of the Bishop of Placencia, Gutierre de Vargas. It was originally built to house the remains of Saint Isidore Laborer, Madrid's patron saint, but it was used as the Vargas family mausoleum. Inside are the altarpiece and the tombs of the Vargas family, which were the work of Francisco Giralti, a disciple of Alonso Berigit. They are considered masterpieces of Spanish Renaissance sculpture. Saint Isidore Church was built between 1620 and 1664 by order of Empress Maria of Austria, daughter of Charles V of Germany and I of Spain, to become part of a school run by the Jesuits, which still exists today. Its dome is the first example of a dome drawing on a wooden frame covered with plaster, which, given its lightness, makes it easy to support the walls. It was the Cathedral of Madrid between 1885 and 1993, which is the time it took to build the Almudena. The artworks inside were mostly burned during the Spanish Civil War, but it retained the tomb that holds the incorrupt body of Saint Isidore Laborer and the urn containing the ashes of his wife, Maria Torrebier. The Royal Convent of La Incarnation is an Augustinian recollect convent. The institution, which belonged to ladies of the nobility, was founded by Queen Margaret of Austria, wife of Philip III of Spain, in the early 17th century. Due to the frescoes and sculptures it houses, it is one of the most prominent temples in the city. The building's architect was Fray Alberto de la Madre de Dios, who built it between 1611 and 1616. The façade responds to an inspiring Herrerian style, with great austerity, and it was imitated by other Spanish churches. The church's interior is a sumptuous work by the great Baroque architect Ventura Rodriguez. In the church are preserved shrines containing the blood of Saint Januarius and Saint Pantaleon. The second, according to tradition, liquefies every year on the saint's day on the 27th of July. San Antonio de los Almanes Street, Antony Church, is a pretty 17th-century church that was originally part of a Portuguese hospital. Subsequently, it was donated to the Germans living in the city. The interior of the church has been restored, and includes several frescoes painted by Luca Giordano, Francisco Carreno, and Francisco Rizzi. The frescoes represent some kings of Spain, Hungary, France, Germany, and Bohemia. They all sit looking at the paintings in the vault, which represent the life of Saint Anthony of Padua. The Royal Chapel of Saint Anthony of La Florida is sometimes named the Goya's Sistine Chapel. The chapel was built on orders of King Charles IV of Spain, who also commissioned the frescoes by Goya. These were completed over a six-month period in 1798. The frescoes portray miracles by Saint Anthony of Padua, including one that occurred in Lisbon but that the painter has relocated to Madrid. Every year on 13 June, the chapel becomes the site of a lively pilgrimage in which young unwed women come to pray to Saint Anthony and ask for a partner. San Francisco el Grande Basilica was built in neoclassical style in the second half of the 18th century by Francesco Sabatini. It has the fifth largest diameter dome to Christianity, 33 meters, 108 feet, in diameter. It's smaller than the dome of Rome's Pantheon, 43.4 meters or 142.4 feet. Saint Peter's Basilica, 42.4 meters or 139.1 feet. The Florence Cathedral, 42 meters or 138 feet, and the Rotunda of Mostar, 37.2 meters or 122.0 feet, in Malta, but it's 
larger than St Paul's Cathedral 30.8 meters or 101 feet in London and Hagia Sophia 31.8 meters or 104 feet in Istanbul. The church is dedicated to St Francis of Assisi, who according to legend was established in Madrid during his pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela. Its sumptuous interior features many artworks, including paintings by Goya and Zabaron. The Cathedral of Santa Maria la Real de la Almudena is the episcopal seat of the Archdiocese of Madrid. It is a temple 102 meters (335 feet) long and 73 meters (240 feet) high, built during the 19th and 20th centuries in a mixture of different styles: neoclassical exterior, neo-gothic interior, neo-Romanesque crypt, and neo-Byzantine apses paints. The cathedral was built in the same place as the Moorish citadel Al Mudena. It was consecrated by Pope John Paul II on his fourth trip to Spain on 15 June 1993, thus becoming the only Spanish cathedral dedicated by a pope. The Church of La Concepción is a neo-Gothic Catholic church, opened in 1914. Topic. Literature Madrid has been one of the great centers of Spanish literature. Some of the best writers of the Spanish Golden Century were born in Madrid, including, Lope de Vega, Fuentovaduna, The Dog in the Manger, The Knight of Olmedo, who reformed the Spanish theatre, a work continued by Calderón de la Barca, Life is a Dream, Francisco de Quevedo, Spanish nobleman and writer known for his satires, which criticised the Spanish society of his time, and author of El Buscan. And finally, Terso de Molina, who created the character Don Juan. Cervantes and Gongora also lived in the city, although they were not born there. The homes of Lope de Vega, Quevedo, Gongora and Cervantes are still preserved, and they are all in the Barrio de las Letras district of letters. Other writers born in Madrid in later centuries have been Leandro Fernández de Moratín, Mariano José de Lara, José de Echegaray Nobel Prize in Literature, Ramón Gómez de la Serna, Doimazo Alonso, Enrique Jardiel Poncela and Pedro Salinas. The Barrio de las Letras quarter of letters owes its name to the intense literary activity developed over the 16th and 17th centuries. Some of the most prominent writers of the Spanish Golden Age settled here, as Lope de Vega, Quevedo or Gongora, and the theatres of Cruz and Principe, two of the major comedy theatres of that time. At 87 Calle de Atocha, one of the roads that limit the neighborhood, was the printing house of Juan Cuesta, where the first edition of the first part of Don Quixote 1604, was published, one of the greatest works of Spanish literature. Most of the literary routes are articulated along the Barrio de las Letras, where you can find scenes from novels of the Siglo de Oro and more recent works like Bohemian Lights. Although born in Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, realist writer Benito Pérez Galdós is credited with making Madrid the setting for many of his stories, underpinning what has come to be known as the Madrid Galdosiano. Madrid is home to the Royal Academy of Spanish Language Rey, an internationally important cultural institution dedicated to language planning by enacting legislation aimed at promoting linguistic unity within the Hispanic states. This ensures a common linguistic standard, in accordance with its founding statutes to ensure that the changes undergone by the language not break the essential unity that keeps all the Hispanic. Madrid is also home to another international cultural institution, the Instituto Cervantes, whose task is the promotion and teaching of the Spanish language as well as the dissemination of the culture of Spain and Hispanic America. The National Library of Spain is the largest major public library in Spain. The library's collection consists of more than 26 million items, including 15 million books and other printed materials, 30,000 manuscripts, 143,000 newspapers and serials, 4,500,000 graphic materials, 510,000 music scores, 500,000 maps, 600,000 sound recording, 90,000 audiovisuals, 90,000 electronic documents, more than 500,000 microforms, etc. Topic. Nightlife The nightlife in Madrid is one of the city's main attractions with tapas bars, cocktail bars, clubs, jazz lounges, live music venues and flamenco theatres. 
Nightlife and youth cultural flourished in the 1980s while Madrid's Mayor Enrique Tierno Galvan PSOE, was in office. At this time, the cultural movement called La Movida gathered around Plaza del Dos de Mayo. Nowadays, the Malasana area is known for its alternative scene. Some of the nightlife destinations include the neighborhoods of Bilbao, Tribunal, Atocha, La Latina, Ucera, Barrio de las Letras, Alonso Martinez or Moncloa, together with the Puerta del Sol area including Opera and Gran Vía, both adjacent to the popular square and Huertas Barrio de las Letras, destinations which are also filled with tourists day and night. The district of Chuecha has also become a hot spot in the Madrilenian nightlife, especially for the gay population. Chuecha is known as the Gay Quarter, comparable to the Castro district in San Francisco. Usually in Madrid people do not go out until later in the evening and do not return home until early in the morning. A typical evening out could start after 12 a.m. and end at 6.30 a.m. <laughs> Bohemian culture The city has venues for performing alternative art and expressive art. They are mostly located in the center of the city, including in Opera, Anton Martin, Chuecha and Malasana. There are also several festivals in Madrid, including the Festival of Alternative Art, the Festival of the Alternative Scene, the Neighborhood of Malasana, as well as Anton Martin and Lavapiers, hosts several bohemian cafes, galleries. These cafes are typified with period or retro furniture or furniture found on the street, a colorful, non-traditional atmosphere inside, and usually art displayed each month by a new artist, often for sale. Cafes include the retro Café Lalina and Bohemian Cafés La Ida, La Paca and Café de la Luz in Malasana, La Piola in Huertas and Café Olmo and Agardiente in Lavapiés. In the neighborhood of Lavapiés, there are also hidden houses which are illegal bars or abandoned spaces where concerts, poetry readings and the famous Spanish Botelan, a street party or gathering that is now illegal but rarely stopped. Topic. Classical music and opera The Auditorio Nacional de Musica is the main venue for classical music concerts in Madrid. It is home to the Spanish National Orchestra, the Chamatín Symphony Orchestra and the venue for the symphonic concerts of the Community of Madrid Orchestra and the Madrid Symphony Orchestra. It is also the principal venue for orchestras on tour playing in Madrid. The Teatro Real is the main opera house in Madrid, located just in front of the Royal Palace, and its resident orchestra is the Madrid Symphony Orchestra. The theatre stages around 17 opera titles, both own productions and co-productions with other major European opera houses, per year, as well as two or three major ballets and several recitals. The Teatro de la Zarzuela is mainly devoted to Zarzuela, the Spanish traditional musical theatre genre, as well as operetta and recitals. The resident orchestra of the theatre is the Community of Madrid Orchestra. The Teatro Monumental is the concert venue of the RTVE Symphony Orchestra. Other concert venues for classical music are the Fundación Joan March and the Auditorio 400, devoted to contemporary music. Topic: Local festivities. The 2nd of May, Fiesta de la Comunidad, Madrid's Community Day. The 15th of May, San Isidro Labrador, Madrid's patron saint. The 13th of June, San Antonio de la Florida, Moncloa neighborhood's patron saint. 16 to 25 July, Virgin del Carmen festivities, Valacas neighborhood's patron saint. 6 to 14 August, Virgin de la Paloma festivities, Madrid's popular patron saint. The 7th of August, San Cayetano, Cascoro neighborhood's patron saint. The 10th of August, San Lorenzo, Lavapiés neighborhood's patron saint. The 9th of November, Feast of the Virgin of Almudena, Madrid's patron saint. Topic: <inaudible> Bullfighting. Madrid hosts the largest Plaza de Toros bullring in Spain, Las Ventas, established in 1929. Las Ventas is considered by many to be the world center of bullfighting and has a seating capacity of almost 25,000. Madrid's bullfighting season begins in March and ends in October. 
Bullfights are held every day during the festivities of San Isidro Madrid's patron saint from mid-May to early June, and every Sunday, and public holiday, the rest of the season. The style of the plaza is neo mudeja Las Ventas also hosts music concerts and other events outside of the bullfighting season. Topic. LGBTQ culture Since Spain legalized same-sex marriage in July 2005, Madrid has become one of the largest hotspots for LGBT culture. With about 500 businesses aimed toward the LGBT community, Madrid has become a gateway of diversity. Madrid's Pride Parade began in 1977, in the Chuecha neighborhood, which also marked the beginning of the gay, lesbian, transgender, and bisexual rights movement after being repressed for 40 years in a dictatorship. This claiming of LGBT rights has allowed the Pride Parade in Madrid to grow year after year, becoming one of the best in the world. In 2007, this was recognized by the European Pride Owners Association EPOA, when Madrid hosted Europride, the official European Pride Parade. It was hailed by the president of the EPOA as the best Europride in history. In 2017, Madrid plans on celebrating the 40th anniversary of their first Pride Parade with World Pride Madrid 2017. This festival will be the host of many conferences, seminars, workshops, cultural and sports activities, and a kids and family pride that will be a source of education. The hope for this event is that its legacy will show the world a multicultural, diverse, and tolerant society. Topic. Sport Topic. Events The main annual international events held in Madrid are Cycling Vuelta a España, one of the three worldwide prestigious three-week-long Grand Tours, takes Madrid as the final stage. It takes place in the second week of September. Tennis Madrid Open, a male and female professional tennis tournament, played on clay court. The event is part of the ATP Tour Masters 1000 and one of the top four premier mandatory on the WTA Tour. It is held during the first week of May. Davis Cup Finals, the finals of the major tournament between men's national teams, will be played from November 2019 in Madrid. Topic. Football Madrid is home to La Liga football club giant Real Madrid, who play their home games at the Santiago Bernabeu. The club is one of the most widely supported teams in the world and the supporters are referred to as Madridistas or Merengues Marangs. Real Madrid was selected as the best club of the 20th century, FIFA Club of the Century, being the current leader of the European team's ranking and the most valuable sports team in the world. Real is also the worldwide leader with a record 26 international titles, being the current holders of the UEFA Champions League and the FIFA Club World Cup. Their successful hometown rivals, Atletico Madrid, are also well supported in the city and play their home games at the Wanda Metropolitano. Their supporters are referred to as Atleticos or Colconeros, the mattresses, in reference to the team's red and white jersey colours. Atletico is considered a European elite team, having reached in the last 10 seasons, three UEFA Europa League titles and two UEFA Champions League finals. Historically nationwide, Atletico has won 10 leagues and 10 cups. The final matches for the UEFA Euro 1964, the 1982 FIFA World Cup, the 1957, 1969 and 1980 European Cups and the 2010 UEFA Champions League, as well as the second leg of the 2018 Copa Libertadores were held at the Bernabeu. The 2019 UCL final is scheduled to be played at the Metropolitano Stadium. Some of Spain's top footballers are Madrilenians born in Madrid, including Real Madrid former captains Emilio Butragueno, Raúl González or Ica Casillas and Atletico Madrid former captain Fernando Torres. Topic. Basketball Madrid boasts a main place in Spanish basketball, with two ACB clubs, playing their home games at the Palacio de Deportes. 
Real Madrid's basketball section has won a record 10 Euroleague championships, 34 Spanish leagues and 27 Spanish cups, having achieved three triple crowns. Madrid's other professional basketball club is Estudiantes that have won three Spanish Cup championships. Regarding international competitions, the final matches for the 1986 and 2014 FIBA World Cups and the Eurobasket 2007, were held at the Palacio de Deportes. Topic. Sport clubs Topic. Education State education in Spain is free, and compulsory from 6 to 16 years. The current education system is called LU, Ley Orgónica de Education. Topic. Universities Madrid is home to a large number of public and private universities. Some of them are among the oldest in the world, and many of them are the most prestigious universities in Spain. The National Distance Education University Universidad Nacional de Educación a Distancia, UNED, has as its mission the public service of higher education through the modality of distance education. At more than 205,000 students 2015, UNED has the largest student population in Spain and is one of the largest universities in Europe. Since 1972, UNED has sought to translate into action the principle of equal opportunity in access to higher education through a methodology based on the principles of distance learning and focused on the needs of the student. UNED is the leader in the implementation of cutting-edge technologies applied to learning, with the largest offer of virtual courses in Spain. The Complutense University of Madrid, Universidad Complutense de Madrid UCM, is the second largest university in Spain after UNED and one of the oldest universities in the world. It has over 11,000 staff members and a student population of 117,000. Most of the academic staff is Spanish. It is located on two campuses, the main one of Ciudad Universitaria in the Moncloa Aravica district, and the secondary campus of Somosuas, located outside the city limits in Pozuelo de Alacón and founded in 1971. The Complutense University of Madrid was founded in Alcalá de Henares, Old Complutum, by Cardinal Cisneros in 1499. Nevertheless, its real origin dates back to 1293, when King Sancho IV of Castile built the general schools of Alcalá, which would give rise to Cisneros Complutense University. During the course of 1509-1510 five schools were already operative, Artes y Filosofía Arts and Philosophy, Teología Theology, Derecho Canonico Canonical Laws, Letras Liberal Arts and Medicina Medicine. In 1836, during the reign of Isabel II, the university was moved to Madrid, where it took the name of Central University and was located at San Bernardo Street. Subsequently, in 1927, a new university city, Ciudad Universitaria, was planned to be built in the district of Moncloa Aravica, in lands handed over by the King Alfonso XIII to this purpose. The Spanish Civil War turned the university city into a war zone, causing the destruction of several schools in the area, as well as the loss of part of its rich scientific, artistic and bibliographic heritage. In 1970 the government reformed the higher education, and the central university became the Complutense University of Madrid. It was then when the new campus at Somosuas was created to house the new School of Social Sciences. The old Alcalá campus was reopened as the independent UAH, University of Alcalá, in 1977. Complutense also serves to the population of students who select Madrid as their residency during their study abroad period. Students from the United States for example, might go to Madrid on a program like API Academic Programs International and study at Complutense for an intense immersion into the Spanish language. After studying at the university, students return home with a fluent sense of Spanish as well as culture and diversity. The Technical University of Madrid, Universidad Politécnica de Madrid, UPM, is the top technical university in Spain. It is the result of the merge of different technical schools of engineering. 
It shares the Ciudad Universitaria campus with the UCM, while it also owns several schools scattered in the city center and additional campuses in the Puente de Vallecas district and in the neighboring municipality of Bodila del Monte. The Autonomous University of Madrid, Universidad Autónoma de Madrid, UAM, was instituted under the leadership of the physicist, Nicolás Cabrera. The Autonomous University is widely recognized for its research strengths in theoretical physics. Known simply as La Autónoma by locals, its main site is the Canto Blanco campus, located at the north of the municipality, close to its boundaries with the neighboring municipalities of Alcabendas, San Sebastián de los Reyes and Tres Cantos. Located on the main site are the Rectorate Building and the Faculties of Science, Philosophy and Fine Arts, Law, Economic Science and Business Studies, Psychology, Higher School of Computing Science and Engineering, and the Faculty of Teacher Training and Education. The UAM is considered the institution to study law in Spain. The medical school is sited outside the main site and beside the Hospital Universitario La Paz, the private Camillas Pontifical University, Universidad Pontificia Camillas, UPC, has its rectorate and several faculties in Madrid. The private Nibrija University is also based in Madrid. Some of the big public universities headquartered in the surrounding municipalities also have secondary campuses in Madrid proper, it is the case of the Charles III University of Madrid, Universidad Carlos III de Madrid, UC3M, with its main site in Getafe and an educational facility in Embajadores, after signing a deal with the regional government and the city council in 2011, and the King Juan Carlos University, Universidad Rey Juan Carlos, URJC, having its main site in Mostoles and a secondary campus in Vicalvaro. The private Camilo José Sela University, Universidad Camilo José Sela, UCJC, has a postgraduate school in Chambery. Topic. Business schools IE Business School, formerly Instituto de Empresa, has its main campus on the border of the Chamatín and Salamanca districts of Madrid. IE Business School recently ranked number one in WSJ's 2009 rankings for best MBA programs under two years. It scored ahead of usual Stalwitz, INSEAD and IMD, giving it top billing among international MBA programs. Although based in Barcelona, both IESE Business School and ESADE Business School also have Madrid campuses. These three schools are the top-ranked business schools in Spain, consistently rank among the top 20 business schools globally, and offer MBA programs, in English or Spanish, as well as other business degrees. Other Madrid business schools and universities that have MBA programs include EAE Business School, in English and Spanish. Charles III University of Madrid through the Centro de Ampliación de Estudios, in English or Spanish. Camillas Pontifical University, in Spanish only. Technical University of Madrid, in Spanish only. Topic. Transport Madrid is served by several roads and three modes of public surface transport, and two airports, one of them being almost two different airports. A great many important road, rail and air links converge on the capital, providing effective connections with other parts of the metropolitan region and with the rest of Spain and other parts of Europe. Topic. Roads Commuters and other local travelers have available a high-capacity metropolitan road network. Madrid is the center of the most important roads of Spain. The road network within the Madrid region includes nine radial autovias fast dueled highways. In 2016 it was announced that Madrid will stop the use of all diesel-powered cars and trucks within the next decade. Also Madrid road network includes four orbital ones at different distances from the center. Autopista de Circunvalación M30, ring road around Madrid city center. It is the busiest Spanish road, famous for its traffic jams. A significant portion of the southern part runs underground, with tunnel sections of more than 6 kilometers (3.7 miles) in length and 3 to 6 lanes in each direction. Autopista de Circunvalación M40, ring road around the outer city districts and closest metropolitan municipalities. 
Autopista de Circunvalación M45, road built between the M40 and M50, passes by neighborhoods like Villaverde and Vallecas. Autopista de Circunvalación M50, Madrid's outer ring road, connecting municipalities and cities in the metropolitan area, like the ones in the South Industrial Belt Fuenlabrada, Mostoles, Getafe, Leganés and the more residential suburbs to the west, like Bodela del Monte and Las Rothas. Due to the large amount of traffic, new toll highways were built parallel to the main national freeways A1, A6. Their names are R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5 and provide a paid alternative to the often overcrowded free radials. <laughs> <laughs> Local transport There are four major components of public transport, with many intermodal interchanges. The first is the metro, the second longest metro system in Europe, after London's, at 294 kilometers, 183 miles. Only the metro of Paris has more stations. Another is the Circanias. Those are local railways, used for longer distances from the suburbs into Madrid, consisting of nine lines totaling 578 kilometers, 359 miles, and more than 90 stations. With fewer stops inside the center of the city they are faster than the metro, but run less frequently. This system is connected with metro presently 22 stations, and light metro. Madrid has four lines of light metro with several connections with metro and also with Circanius. There is a dense network of bus routes, run by the municipal company Empresa Municipal de Transportes, or EMT Madrid, which operates 24 hours a day, special services called N-Lines are run during nighttime. The special airport express shuttle line connecting the airport with the city center features distinctively yellow buses. In addition to the urban lines operated by the EMT, the green buses Interurbanos connect the city with the suburbs. The later lines, while also regulated by the Consorcio Regional de Transportes de Madrid CRTM, are often run by private operators. Almost half of all journeys in the metropolitan area are made on public transport, a very high proportion compared with most European cities. Madrid has 15,723 taxis around all the city. Topic. Long distance transport In terms of longer distance transport, Madrid is the central node of the system of autovias, giving the city direct fast road links with most parts of Spain and with France and Portugal. It is also the focal point of one of the world's three largest high-speed rail systems, Alta Velocidad Española Avenue, which has brought major cities such as Seville and Barcelona within 2.5 hours travel time. There are now 2,900 kilometers, 1,800 miles, of avenue track, connecting Madrid with 17 provincial capitals, and further lines are under construction. Also Spain business are designing new high-speed trains which will be the new generation Avenue 104 like Talgo Avril. Madrid is also home to the Madrid Barajas Airport, the sixth largest airport in Europe, handling over 40 M passengers annually, of whom 70% are international travelers, in addition to the majority of Spain's air freight movements. Madrid's location at the center of the Iberian Peninsula makes it a major logistical base. Madrid Barajas Airport has four terminals and also the Terminal 4S, called Satellite Terminal. This terminal is 2 kilometers, 1.2 miles, from the Terminal 4 and connected by an automated people mover system, AMP, train. The smaller, and older, Cuatro Vientos Airport has a dual military civilian use and hosts several aviation schools. The Torrejón Air Base, located in the neighboring municipality of Torrejón de Ardoz, also has a secondary civilian use aside from the military purpose. Outside the region limits, the Ciudad Real Central Airport project has tentatively intended to become another commercial airport serving Madrid. It is under the process of reopening after years of closure due to financial difficulties of the airport's former parent company. Topic. International relations Topic. Twin towns and sister cities 
List of Madrid's twin towns, sister city agreements, acuerdos. List of Madrid's twin towns, sister city, acts, actors. Rabat, Morocco, 1988. Tripoli, Libya, 1988. Topic: Union of Ibero-American Capital Cities. Madrid is part of the Union of Ibero-American Capital Cities establishing brotherly relations with the following cities through the issuing of a collective statement in October 1982. Topic. Other city partnerships Topic. Partnerships with international organizations C40 Cities C40 International Labor Organization OIT Ibero American General Secretariat SEGIB United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO United Nations Human Settlements Program ONU Habitat Topic Notable People Topic Honors Madrid Dome in Aristotle Mountains, Graham Land in Antarctica is named after the city. Topic See also Madrid Portal C forty Cities Climate Leadership Group Madrid Conference of nineteen ninety one Mayor of Madrid List of tallest buildings in Madrid Open Cities List of films set in Madrid <laughs>